Welcome, I'm Belle and I'm glad you found my channel. Hi folks, today is play day. I'm gonna play with different kind of medias like ink and gelatos and acrylic paint, some markers, some graphite. Don't know what I actually gonna use, but hey, just starting somewhere. As a substrate, I used the um, Strathmore watercolor paper, which is at 140 pound or 300 grams per square meter. See you soon. The first step going to be to tape it to this board, which was actually at one point a clipboard. And I'm using the teaser which is for uh, delicate surfaces. I haven't had so much luck with other tapes, so I'm pretty happy with this one. And at the same time, time I want also to have a, a white border, so... And I'm just eyeballing it. By the way, the size is an A4 size. I did cut it to an A4 size. The reason for that, I wanna scan it, maybe, and then make prints. And I only have an A4 scanner, so. That looks about as straight and as accurate as I can be. I probably will uh, speed up some of the parts and will step in when I have to say something. Looks good to me. So let's start with some mark making. I just recently bought this um, water-soluble soft graphite stick. It's a Portuguese pencil factory, art grow. I don't know them, so... And then I have those uh, china markers. Oh, actually that's a china marker and that's a charcoal pencil. So the china marker, because it's a wax based, it's gonna resist anything I do. And it already blends in with the uh, graf graphite stick, which I like. Let's do some circles. By the way, I have inspired by Alicia. If I remember, I'm going to put a link at least to her Instagram account. I'm not sure if she has a YouTube channel. She did recently some, she does it all the time, I think. Uh, Instagram live and uh, it was really cool to look and see her work. I guess I'm done with that. Let's go on to the links. To the inks, to the links, <laughs> sorry. Because I was talking about the link, I guess. So I have the Amsterdam inks. It's a primary magenta, a primary yellow, an azo orange, have some deep gold. Hey, we need gold. And I'm usually gonna use some water to do drippage, which means I have to prepare some paper towels. Okay, let's see. Let's start with orange. It's going to be a multi-layered surface or background which I have planned to turn either into houses or flowers, not decided yet, depending a little bit on what the outcome is. And some magenta. No, yeah, yes, primary magenta. Okay. Then we need some gold. I 
Oh, that's quite different than the other inks. Okay. The reason why I did put it on this board, I can tilt it and move it around as I want. Okay, I just decided I'm going to pick up some of the paint onto an art journal page. I'm not sure if the camera did catch it. Lately she just turns off on her own. So what I basically did, I did use gelatos. And the gelatos or the distress inks are water soluble again. And I just did make marks, not thinking too much. And now I go on to the acrylic paints. I just decided I'm gonna use first some ephemera just for fun. And I'm going to use the Liquitex mat for it. Not too much, just some bits here and there. So it starts moving around the colors from the gelatos, which is fine with me. Going over with Liquitex matte at this stage, kind of seal a little bit the paint. So when I go over with the acrylic, it doesn't move too much. So it is pretty dry. And I'm gonna work. With acrylic paint now. I'm going to mix the paint directly on the page. So I grabbed even a PBO Violet Blue Iridescent and a Vermilion Red. So I'm trying to pull off some paint and transfer it to other places.
Okay, that has to dry now. There are several layers on it and before I can go on, it really has to dry. I want a little bit more gold. The gold is all covered up now mostly. And in the meantime, I also did clean the pipette so it should be better. So it is dry on the surface, but it's certainly not dry through, but it's enough to go on. I have here a charcoal pencil and I'm going to sketch in some houses, I think. It's going to be wonky houses. probably can't see it, I barely can see it, but uh, I don't want it too visible. That's going to be a short one. I think I'm first going to block out a little bit with white. It is a. Um, oh, I need a new palette. By the way, I have very fancy palettes. Lids from food containers. Um, I used to think white, which is translucent, to put it back a little bit. And then I'm going to paint over the houses individually with different. For the sky, I'm uh, gonna use this um, deco cream from PBL. It's a, a matte paint and it covers up pretty nice, so I want to use that for the sky.
couldn't find my charcoal uh, my wax pencil so I went for a near color 2 anthracite wax crayon I basically want the wax so it is a little bit waxy okay There is still some red paint here. Oh well. Now I need a smaller brush. If you go over the paint while it is still too wet, you just lift up column. That's not our goal here. So make sure that when you add the second layer, it's dry enough that you really add a layer and not lift up.
it's probably hard to see on the video but uh, you still can see the layers from under beneath there will be a close-up picture as usual at the end of my video Now it really has to dry dry before I can go in with the um, markers. That's my next step. I have planned on. So for my next step I'm actually going to take it off. I want to see it in as a whole to add the details. So, you're not done yet. So, I did grab a black marker, a white marker, and rub ons. It's a mixed media piece, I can use rub ons. Those are actually from those days when they didn't have computers, and for the technical plans, they used those kind of rub ons. They're really old. So I decided to go for my fine line applicator. Which maybe is the solution. There's just acrylic ink here, like the uh, fluid ones.
okay I have it everywhere but not on the picture oh well I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment and share on whatever social media you are on, so others can enjoy it too. Hope to see you soon somewhere online. Okay, I think I'm done. Let you know if I change my mind. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> I want some more hearts. Just for the fun of it. And this time rub ons, I don't draw it my own. Well, that doesn't show off at all. The light one, I guess. So just the black one. Maybe this line I'm done. Call it again. <laughs> I think this time really. 